Magandang araw mga bata! Ako si Ma'am Regine, ang teacher mo sa math. Sa video na ito ay ating bibigyang kasagutan ang tanong ng ating mga mag-aaral ng grade 7, paano ko nga bang sasagutan ang mga learning tasks sa module? Ang video na ito ay tumutukoy sa week 3 ng ating Milk-Based 4A Cube Module for Grade 7 Mathematics, Quarter 1, Lesson 3. Meron na rin akong ginawa na video tungkol rito kung paano din discuss ang laman ng week 3 ng module. You can check it out in our YouTube channel, ang teacher mo sa math. Ang week 3 ng module for Grade 7 Math ay naglalaman ng topic about absolute value and integers. Meron itong tatlong learning tasks. First one, yung learning task 1 ay nasa I part or introduction. Matatagpuan ito sa page 13. Yung learning task 2 naman ay nasa E part. Matatagpuan ito sa page 16. At ang ating learning task 3 ay nasa A part or assessment. Same page, nasa page 16 din. Learning task 1. Ito ang ating makikita sa module. For learning task 1, ang instruction ay, on a separate sheet of paper, illustrate a sea with the following. A crab 5 feet below sea level, a cliff 3 feet above sea level, and a flying bird 4 feet above sea level. Use a vertical number line to help you out in the illustration. So, drawing natin ito mga bata. Magdodrawing kayo sa isang papel ng C. Yun yung pinakagitna. Dapat meron siyang crab below sea level na 5 feet. Meron ding cliff or bangin 3 feet above. At meron ding flying bird 4 feet above the sea. Gagamit tayo ng vertical number line. Ito yung nakatayong number line para ating masukat yung mga binigay na measurement 5, 3, and 4 feet. Tapos yung i-drawing itong instructions learning task 1. Study it carefully, then answer the questions below. Ito yung ating pitong questions na sasagutin based on sa ating drawing. Meron na akong ginawang example and explanation kung paano yung gagawin itong learning task 1. Napapalob ito dito sa ating video for absolute value and integers. Kaya naman, let's watch this video. This is one example. So, this is also a number line. However, vertical siya, nakatayo. Yung kaninang number line natin na example ay nakahiga, horizontal siya. Kung mapapansin natin, yung zero ay nasa gitna talaga niya. This is the origin. Yung mga positive numbers ay nasa taas, sa vertical. Sa horizontal, ito ay nasa kanan. Yung mga negative numbers naman ay nasa baba. Yung sa horizontal or nakahiga, ito ay nasa kaliwa. And this vertical number line is using feet as its unit. And so, meron tayong picture of a sea. And this one is the sea surface, yung pinakataas niya. So, the best number to represent the sea surface or the sea level is zero. Since siya yung gitna, origin siya. Anything above the sea level will be measured using positive integers since positive yung mga nasa taas ng isang vertical na number line. And anything below sea level will be measured using negative integers dahil nakikita natin sa ating vertical number line lahat ng numbers na nasa baba ni 0 ay negative. The absolute value of 0 is 0 because 0 is 0 units away from itself. Nandito lang naman siya sa origin, hindi naman siya gumalaw. So, ang absolute value niya ay 0 lamang. For example, meron tayong cliff above the sea level. This is an illustration of a cliff. How far is the cliff from the sea level? Gano ba siya kalayo? So, let's measure. This is the distance of the sea level, yung gitna, yung origin, from the cliff. So, from 0, tumapat siya kay positive 5. So, kukunin natin yung absolute value ni positive 5, which is 5. Because 5 is 5 units away from 0. So, from 0, bibilangin natin 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Therefore, yung layo ni cliff from sea level ay... 5 feet away. 
the cliff is 5 feet away from sea level. So, yung unit dito ay papalitan natin ng feet dahil this vertical number line is using feet as its unit of measurement. Yung layo daw ni cliff, ito, yung pagitan nila, yung kanilang distansya ay 5 feet. Next. So, meron naman tayo dito isang crab. So, what is the distance of the crab from the sea level? Gano nga ba kalayo si crab kay sea level? So, katin din natin. This is the distance of the crab from the sea level. Ito ay tumapat from 0 kay negative 4. What is the absolute value of negative 4? That is 4. Because negative 4 is 4 units away from 0. Si negative 4 daw ay... 4 units yung layo niya. So, kung bibilangin natin ay 1, 2, 3, 4. Therefore, the crab is 4 feet away from the sea level. So, meron naman tayong flying bird. What is the distance of the bird from the sea level? Kung susukatin natin siya, ito yung distance ng bird from the sea level starting from 0. The absolute value of 7 is 7. Tumapat siya kay positive 7 because 7 is 7 units away from 0. So, from 0, kung bibilangin natin, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Therefore, the bird is 7 feet away from the sea level. Next, alam na natin kanina that the cliff is 5 feet away from sea level. Ito yung kanyang distance. At alam din natin that the crab is 4 feet away from the sea level. Now, the question is, how far is the distance of the crab from the cliff? Gano'ng kalayo si crab dito kay cliff? So, kung susukatin natin yung distansya nilang dalawa, ang gagawin natin ay, i-add lang natin sila together. So, we have here 5 feet. Ito yung layo ni cliff from sea level, the origin, and we also have 4 feet. Ito naman yung layo ni crab from sea level. I-add lang natin sila together. So, 5 feet plus 4 feet is 9 feet. Therefore, the crab is 9 feet away from the cliff. Ang layo daw ni crab kay cliff ay 9 feet. So, dito naman tayo. Si bird ay alam natin na yung flying bird ay 7 feet away, yung kanyang layo sa sea level ay 7 feet. While si crab, 4 feet yung kanyang layo. So, the question is, how far is the bird and the crab from each other? Gano ba sila kalayo sa isa't isa? What we will do is just to add their distances from the sea level together. So, itong 7 feet ay yung layo ni bird kay sea level at yung 4 feet naman yung layo ni crab from the sea level. I-add lang natin sila together. 7 feet plus 4 feet is 11 feet. Therefore, the bird and the crab are 11 feet away from each other. At ayan, ganyan natin gagawin ng learning task 1 mga bata. And that's it for our video for today mga bata. Hangad ko na natutunan mo kung paano nga bang sinasakutan ng module for week 3 ng grade 7 mathematics. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and Teacher Musamat for more contents and videos regarding the grade 7 math. So please share this video para mas marami pa akong batang maabot at maturuan dahil ako si Ma'am Regine, ang Teacher Musamat.